Hi guys, it's Judith from the Intuitive Body Foodie Network and today I'm creating this what I eat in a day video um, kind of with a twist. I'm going to cook up a bunch of different meats including skirt steak, pastured pork loin steaks, and all beef sausages. And I'll show you how I prepare them and what I think of them. So come. So I don't know what skirt steak is. Oh, it looks good. So as usual, our little carnivore buddy is here. He wants some, yeah, he wants some raw steak. Yeah? You want some meat? Okay. So I'm going to cut a little bit of the fat and the meat for him. Let's see. So that's a hit. Okay, let's see if my pan is hot enough. I see smoke coming off of it, so... Oh, look at that. So that was two skirt steaks in there. That's nice. That's a nice medium rare to rare. I like that. Now let's try it. Mmm. It has a nice taste. It's that nice gamey taste that I'm used to. The steak itself is a bit um, chewy. It's not as soft as, say, like a tenderloin. Well, it's soft, but it's chewier. Tenderloin tends to just melt in your mouth. At least that's my experience of it. That said, it's not as chewy as brisket. Definitely, definitely salt. I'm going to do a second attempt at eating pork tenderloin steak and I believe that is done. I think I might have cooked it, overcooked it. Yeah, it tastes more cooked than not. Definitely not that nice uh, medium rare that I had the first time I had this. That said, it has a, a different taste as a result of being grilled as opposed to being cooked in the fat. That's more pink. That's how I like it. That said, I'm not going to be overly upset that some of it was overcooked. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat all that, but I did eat the one skirt steak. This is a lot of meat for me. That said, it's actually really good. Yeah, I think I, uh, I think I might be full. I should put all this on one plate. I think I might be full now. I have never in my life cooked sausage. So, uh, I had to Google how I was going to do this. And what I've decided to do is simply bake them in my convection oven. And all I'm going to do is put them at, okay, 350. I think they're supposed to be at 400. Uh, so let's change that. OK. 
okay, 400 and probably about 20, 25 minutes. At this point, I'm going to transfer them onto the grill. It's amazing, there's juices still coming out of that. Hardly wait to dive into these to see how they taste. I don't believe I've ever had beef sausages. I've only ever had uh, pork and or a combination of pork. So this is going to be interesting. Wow. I have to tell you, I went to Ribfest in Thornhill a couple days ago and I ordered a sausage. And when I cut it like this and looked at it, I saw little square chunks of meat and the rest was like, what the hell is that? And I showed it to my friend Erin and I said, what is that? And she said, oh, it looks like they've used flour as a filler. And I went, oh my God, this is a flour sausage. It's not a meat sausage. And if I didn't make this sausage today, because it's been so long since I've eaten sausage, I don't think I would have truly understood the difference. This is 100% meat with a little bit of spice. The sausage that I had at Rib Fest was, a, was primarily flour and a little bit of meat chunk. It was the most disgusting sausage I had ever had in my entire life. This, on the other hand, oh my. It's very lean, not fatty at all. Spices are subtle, they're not overpowering, which is good because this Longhorn Steer, like I said, is a very, um, has a very distinct flavor. It's gamey, which is why I like it. And you don't want to overdo it with spices. This is just the right amount of spices. Way to go, Fourth Line Cattle Company. Well done. I can only imagine how much better this would be on a barbecue. This is definitely worth buying again and in fact I'm almost positive I will. If you like what you see here today, um, these products with the exception of the pastured pork come from Fourth Line Cattle Company and if you're interested in purchasing from them uh, I will put their link in the description box below. So apart from the coffee that I had this morning with a little bit of cream the rest of this food I'm going to save because I'm quite full right now and I will save and eat that later today and that's pretty much all that I'm going to eat today. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed these recipes as much as I've enjoyed creating them and until I see you in the next video. Ciao for now.